This demonstration shows the local based operation tools found in VIACAD 2D 3D. To access the tools, tear away the local ops palette and place to the upper part of the screen. The six tools are draft face, match face, move face, offset, remove, and replace. Let's go ahead and demonstrate the draft face first. We'll click on an individual part to demonstrate the draft face. And let's zoom up. And what we're going to do is draft this face. However, this face extends beyond more than we want. So let's uh, first trim the face up. And we'll do that by creating a construction line, going over to our project curve. And what we're going to do is we're going to hold down our option key, and we will imprint that curve onto the surface. And what that does is it splits the surface at that location. Now we can go to our draft base and pick a reference of edge to indicate the orientation angle of the draft. Then we'll pick the face. And then we'll pick a neutral point, this is a point of rotation. And there our face is drafted. Let's go ahead and turn everything back on. We'll do a show all objects. And we'll move on to our next local face operation, which is the match face. Match face will place a plane in the same um, uh, alignment as a reference plane. So let's go ahead and select our face and a reference face. And what it does is it does not move that rod. It actually takes just the top face and it matches it to the top of the other face. Next, let's go to the translate face. And we're going to box select some faces on the end of the handle, the grip. And we'll specify a vector to move. Let's make that exact. Let's go up to our, our data entry window and let's type in 0 0.025 so that we get an exact uh, translation. Next local op tool is the offset face. And let's move over to this handle. And what we'll do is uh, let's take that face and let's offset it out a distance, a specified distance by the, the data entry window. Or let's take everything and offset the whole group by that amount. Next, the remove face. Let's say you have a, a, a feature you don't want. Uh, for example, the chamfer. Let's go ahead and remove that chamfer. And then let's go back and let's put a blend on it. And then the last tool is the replace. <coughs> and what this will do is this will take a, a surface and it will replace a face of a part with it. Let's go ahead and quickly construct a surface. And let's create a construction line out the length of our surface we're about to create, and another construction line, and let's go to our spline tool, and let's create a, oops, I don't want that, and one more point for our spline. And I'm going to turn on some uh, slope handles, and let's grab this, and let's move it straight down, and then let's move it over. Same thing on the top. Let's just move this up. We're just shaping it. There we go. And now let's go to our service tool palette. And we're going to pick the uh, service of revolution. We'll pick this spline, revolve it around these two points, and we'll get our surface. Then we'll go ahead and go to the replace face. And we'll select that face in the back with our surface that we created. And now let's hide the, the surface revolution so you can see it. There we go. So now this is all one part. Now as with all surfaces in the ACAD, it is associative so that if you modify the curve, move it around, the surface will update as well as the replace base operation will update too for any changes with the children and the parents. And that's it for our demonstration of the local-based operations in VIACAD 2D, 3D.